Hi, this is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today is, guess what? It is time again for my costs here in the Philippines for the month of December. I know I'm a day or so early, but you know, uh, expenses are not going to change that much. I added a little money in for that. Uh, so here we go. So the month of December, our electric was a little high this month. We spent $45 US. Our water was $10 this month. We spent $120 in food. Of course, a little high in food for us. I know a lot of people spend two, three, four hundred dollars in food. But here, food is a little different because you go to the market, you can spend five you five dollars U.S. and you can come back with five, six bags full of, of produce: pineapple, fresh pineapple, mango, guava, banana. I mean, you're paying uh, thirty cents, forty cents for for bananas that, you know, 30 banana, you know, big stock. So, kind of gives you an idea. Uh, potatoes, of course, they have small potatoes. They do have big potatoes here. But you buy a uh, uh, four pound of potatoes, probably, uh, I think it was um, uh, less than less than a dollar. You know, it's like uh, 40 cents, something like that. So, uh, okay, uh, food. Internet was 25 this month. Uh, school, now this includes transportation to school. We don't take it to school because it's a madhouse going to school with many, many tricycles and kids. And this includes school and the supplies and things like that, $20. Gas this month, which we don't really drive the car that much, $25. I mean, if we drive it, it when it's running good, right, we're having some problem with the transmission. Believe it or not, transmission seems to be doing fine now, but there's something going on. And there's not a lot of gas mechanics, automatic mechanics here. It's mainly diesel here. So if someone's to purchase a car here, it's diesel. Uh, a lot of the multi-cabs, the small multi-cabs, small vehicles, little four-cylinder vehicles are gas. Uh, but, uh, and they work on small motor. But if you have air conditioning, things of that nature, it's really hard for them to, to do that. They have specialty people that can do that. And that's not a problem. Um, miscellaneous, what I did, I added, uh, uh, add like we went out to eat things like that uh, of course we have Christmas here but this is not including that hundred dollars so total is four hundred dollars this month now that is, that's just a true cost of living here for me and uh, that's probably add a little bit more than normal uh, because we normally spend around two fifty three hundred dollars uh, but we had a little bit more in parties and things now we gave more church that's not included in this this is just actual cost for us to live here in the Philippines, family of three. And, uh, and where I live is, is uh, uh, what you call native. I live in a native area. I don't live in a city. So the cost is here cheaper than it would be living in uh, Manila, Cebu, Davao, uh, you know, Dumaguete even. Uh, gee, where I live is uh, it's, it's just cheaper, cheaper living because uh, you don't have the cost like you do anywhere else, you know, because you find yourself going to McDonald's. We don't have McDonald's. We got the very first 7-Eleven here in town is finally opened up, and I'll do a, a, a video on that. It's a big thing. They actually have ice cream, so people are so excited. 7-Eleven is open, and they have ice cream. Now, granted, you can go uh, 15 minutes down the road to Valencia, and you can get ice cream and things of that nature. Uh, so you can actually normally uh, travel just a few miles down the road and get everything that you need. They have McDonald's, uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, uh, Chow King, uh, Joe Lee, Jolly Bee. I'm sorry. So uh, there's many places like that, but where, where I live, so it's an advantage where I live, and I enjoy where I live. Uh, when I live somewhere else, sure, uh, it would be more expensive where I live. Uh, where I live also. Uh, the house I have now because I bought the expandable house and I have that small uh, what we call uh, dirty kitchen house, it's really not a dirty kitchen, a small home, one bedroom uh, upstairs in the kitchen, downstairs bath, all nine yards. So I want you to subscribe and thank you for watching my videos and happy holidays and happy new year to everyone. Uh, thank you.